Hello. So I'm just going to do a very quick video on um, Hall Effect sensors, which are on this brushless motor here. Um, and just how I'm going to go about testing them, because I've just actually replaced this one here because um, the the legs on it were, were damaged. So I ordered some more hall sensors. Um, I've just very fiddly but soldered this new one on and put it in place. Um, I'm going to drop a probably a drop of um, super glue in there just to hold it in place because I think they were glued in before because I had to literally break out the old one and, and sort of uh, file down the insides of that slot. Um, they can only fit in one way around, so it's it's obvious which way they go. And as long as you order the right hall sensor, it should just fit straight in. Um, but I'm going to show you how I'm going to test to make sure that they're working. Um, so I've got here a benchtop power supply. These are ideal for this because you can you can limit the current. Um, so I've set the voltage to five volts DC, um, and I've I've just set the current to 300 milliamps. That's probably way, way more than there's enough. I'd imagine they're probably only going to draw a few milliamps each. Um, so I can turn that on. So that will now give me five volts out of these two wires here. And I have just poked them into the end of this connector. We've got red and the black, which corresponds to on here, red and black. Okay, so that's our five volt supply for this board and for all those hall sensors. I've then got just this cheap crappy digital multimeter that's kicking around and that's what I'm going to use to test them. Um, I stupidly forgot to bring the other part of the motor, the hub that's got all the magnets in, um, which is how I would normally test it. I can rotate the hub and it will go through the um, north and south poles of the magnets um, and that's how they will flip flop between on and off. Um, but I'm just going to use magnets instead. So I'm going to try and set the camera up where you can see the multimeter. So that's on zero at the moment. Hopefully you can see it okay. Um, first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to test the supply. So I'm going to go between positive and negative and we should see, there we go. So there's a, a tiny, tiny volt drop, but we're on 4.97 volts. Um, I've then got three connections on here. I've got A, B and C, which is the output for each of those three hall sensors. Um, so I'm going to test between positive, so the red, and then the A. Let's see where we're at. Zero. B. That's on five volts. And C, that's also on five volts. So two of those are in one state and one of them is in the other state. Um, I don't know which way around the poles in this magnet are, but I'm just going to stick that on to the first one let's just see okay that's still on five volts so if i s switch that around the other way and that's now gone to zero so that's switched that hall sensor depending on which way around the magnets are okay so uh, on this at the moment that's going to be that's going to switch it on to five volts that's going to switch it off to zero volts so if i just hold it on zero volts next to all three of those we should have zero on A, which we do, zero on B, which we do, and zero on C. Um, now, you're probably better off marking <laughs> which way around the magnet's gone, I think I've forgotten it now. But if I then just go dab it on that one, dab it on that one, dab it on that one, I'm not even touching it on, I'm just getting it close. Now let's see if we've got five volts now. We've got five volts on C, we've got five volts on B, we've got five volts on A. Okay, so you can see, depending on which way around the magnet goes, we'll either turn them on or off. That should be back down to zero again now. So A is zero, B is zero, C is zero. And just to double check, onto negative again, we have five volts there. Okay, so that's how I've tested to make sure that all of these hall sensors switch on and off. Okay, so all I'm doing is I'm just holding it somewhere near there, switch it round, or we'll switch it one way, switch it round again, and it'll switch it the other way. And that'll just they'll either just turn off five volts or zero volts. Um, and if I know I'm getting that, then I know that they are working. 
if I wanted to be really thorough, I'd set something up and measure off of the plug as well, because then I'm testing all of that wiring back to that plug. And if I know it's good to there, if I'm fault finding, for example, and I know it's good to that plug, then I can move on to the next stage. And the next stage is the, is the motor controller. So hope that helps someone, but that's how I test my all sensors.